Hi friends, Steve Gardner with Bennett Office Technologies. If you're an educator or an administrator and you're used to using uh, proprietary devices uh, and special paper in order to create uh, multiple choice bubble tests, then Kia Sarah has a better idea for you called Teaching Assistant. Come on over here and we'll get started showing you what that's all about. One of the nice things about the Kia Sarah Teaching Assistant is that it will go on to either a device like this one or even some of our smaller A4 multifunction products, the desktop type. So you have a lot of different options in terms of being able to provide your staff with uh, a new means of creating these bubble jet tests that's going to save you money. Simply hit the application button and we're going to ask Teaching Assistant to create us a test. We have several fields that we need to answer first. So we can put in any number of questions. For this purpose, we're going to put in 25. We're going to leave it at five choices, but we can do as many as eight. And we're going to do this for our purposes today for five students. Now, we're also going to enable the option that allows us to print student ID bubbles. This just gives you another label of making sure that who's taking the test is taking the test. And finally, we're going to change the title so that this is now the 8th grade math test for our one and OK. Now we're going to save that information and we're all set to print this test. We've also told it to print the answer key. And there we have it. We have the answer key and we have five separate tests for students to fill out. And the nice thing is we've done this on plain paper and by the way we've also created a barcode for each one as well. Now the next thing for us to have to do is for the staff to fill out the answer key. Uh, because not only will this create the test but it will grade it and create reports for you as well and that's what we want to work on right now. And we're going to start filling in the answer key. And so forth. Now we have the answer key filled out. And we'll set that aside and we're ready to hand out the test. Now what happens is your student is going to write their name the class slash test, in this case we already put it in for them, and then we're going to put today's date in here. If they have a student ID, we're going to have them place that on here as well. And finally that student is going to start filling out their test. Okay, so now we've collected the tests. Our students have filled all those out. We're going to take the answer key and place it on the top of the pile and now we're going to grade it. Now all we have to do is tell it that we want to start the grading and we're going to press the start key. So now what's happening is that the device is scanning the uh, test and they're checking it against the answer key. So now it's just telling us the scanning is in product, progress, now it's complete. Now if we're finished, we can just start grading the tests. Now not only will it grade the test, but it will allow us to uh, print different reports as well. 
Note also that you can email the results from the device to say an educator's uh, email in their classroom or you can also save the results to a USB thumb drive. So we'll print the summary of the scan. Now this is really cool. This is what you get. Here's a report that tells you the student ID and by the way this is all in the student's own handwriting. And it tells us of the 25 questions how many were correct, what the percentile is, and it will also give us a bar graph of the results. And then the histogram telling us that nobody got an A and basically we had B's or D's. And the statistics part of this. Which questions were the hardest? Which questions were the easiest? The average score, the median score. But what we really want are the individual results for each student. So we'll print details to get that. Now here's what we got for this student. And you notice it completed the grading, told us which answers were wrong, and along the side you can see it also tells us which answers were the correct ones. And it does so for each and every student. The nice thing about the teaching assistant solution from Kyocera is that it allows you to get away from a proprietary device uh, with special paper uh, that's not always necessarily easy to use and you're able to accomplish this on plain paper from virtually any high pass enabled Kyocera device whether it be a larger color standalone device like this one here or if it's one of our desktop models uh, that uses plain paper as well. Uh, we're finding more and more response from educators to this uh, application and the nice thing is is that it's just a one-time license. You get it and you apply it to that machine and that's it. You'll be able to use that for years to come. So we hope you've enjoyed the tour of the Teaching Assistant application and hope that you'll uh, visit our channel again soon and we'll talk more about things like uh, print managed services uh, and document uh, management. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.